Hey everybody, finally made it home through that Arctic storm. Seems like that storm was one step ahead of me this whole week, but I'm home for a few hours and I wanna talk more about this mystery with David Schultz. Uh, not so much more about the mystery itself as about his wife. Uh, sis is struggling and she needs help in more ways than what we can help her. But I've got a few ideas of ways that maybe we can help her. And I'd like to talk about that. So here we go. All right. Earlier this week, I saw a video on JLR Investigates youtube channel where sarah gave an interview and this what you're looking at is a screenshot of the thumbnail of that video on jlr investigates youtube channel taking a screenshot of that thumbnail and the link that he gave down at the bottom of the screen there that's the best way that I know how. It's really the only way that I know how to share that video with you uh, so that you know that you're looking at the right one. Uh, I don't know how to do all the technology stuff. I'm just a trucker, man. Uh, so I do what I can do the only way I know how to do it. And if somebody from JLR Investigates YouTube channel sees this video, which is highly unlikely, but if you see this video, and you don't like that I'm using a screenshot of your stuff, just let me know and I'll pull it down. But all I ask is that you, you know, <laughs> teach me how to share this information without using your stuff if you're mad. So until then, I'm going to go with it this way. So anyways, in that video, it mentioned a GoFundMe account that's been set up for Sarah and... I'm, like I say, I'm not really hip to all the technology stuff. Somebody told me GoFundMe is called crowdsourcing, where people can donate money uh, to certain accounts or causes or whatever. Um, normally, I'm pretty leery of that. Uh, I've been taken by bogus links and stuff before, so I'm not real quick to tap on stuff. But uh, that's another reason why I'm showing you the screenshot here. Uh, I'm pretty sure if that was a bogus link, then Sarah would have had something to say about it and would have got that corrected. So, anyways, I trust the link. I used it. I went on the GoFundMe thing and did my thing as far as my wife and I could afford. Uh, and I think, I think it's legit. Uh, my banking app didn't show any kind of scandalous, you know, stuff on it. So, it went through just fine. But, anyways... There's a screenshot of JLR Investigates uh, YouTube channel video. Uh, the GoFundMe page showed that they had collected almost $16,000 out of $20,000. I don't know what that $20,000 cap is. Maybe that's a GoFundMe limit or whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm not hip to any of that stuff. Uh, hopefully they'll increase the limit on that if if that's a thing but anyways uh i'm sharing that information to you because you know i just found out about it myself so i can't expect anybody else to uh know about it if i didn't uh <laughs> of course there's always a possibility that i'm the last one to find out about tech stuff too so anyways there's that uh if you can contribute to that account, then I'm certain that Sarah would greatly appreciate it and uh, could definitely use it. Uh, in that interview, she mentioned that David and that truck were the sole source of income for them. Uh, he was the primary breadwinner and that's probably going to be the way it is until God brings him home. Um, she still has that truck, the truck that they found parked in the middle of the road. 
and just doesn't know what to do with it. But she did mention that there's a truck payment of, you know, $2,000 a month and the bank still wants their money. And God bless her, she probably can't drive that thing. And, you know, she's got those two little truckers to look after and, uh, you know, probably no income right now. And I would encourage her to keep that truck if she can. But, you know, it's not my call and she is, you know, she knows what's best for her family right now. Uh, but she's got a $2,000 a month truck payment just for that truck. Um, another idea that I had was... If any of you truckers out there in the Fort Dodge, Iowa area or that Sac City area are looking for another job or maybe you can stand another job, you might get a hold of Sarah and see if she could stand somebody else driving that rig. Uh, she says that's a 1999 Peterbilt. Those came standard with, I believe, a straight 10 speed. Um he may have put a 13 or an 18 in it. I don't know, but most likely it's going to be a stick shift. Uh, so maybe she can stand somebody else driving that truck for a while until David comes home. And um, if that's the case, I think that would probably <laughs> help her out immensely. Um, so, yeah, anyways, I, I can't talk about this... Uh, much longer um it's been about the only fucking thing on my mind for the last month and uh i know that sis needs help and those boys need help and um that's it i gotta quit uh there's a gofundme page set up for her and there may or may not be a truck that is available for somebody if you don't think you'd mind hauling livestock around uh hit her up god knows i would if i was out there but all right i can't i can't talk anymore